This question appeared in IES 2021 paper in which they asked uh, the utility function is given to you as 12y equals 36 minus x squared. And the budget line is this. You're not given with an income, you're just given with M. Determine the utility maximizing basket. So given the utility function, so what is the utility function which is given to us? So our utility function is x squared plus 12y equals to 36. So whether we can use a tangency rule here or not, it all depends upon whether the indifference curves are convex. So we need to check whether indifference curve is convex or not. Right. <clears throat> and for that, what we are doing is that we are test, we are using the test of diminishing MRS. We are using the test of diminishing MRS. So what is the test of diminishing MRS? So if you you remember this now, that is you have supposedly if you have the utility function like this, this is not this utility function. I'm just telling you, you move from this point to this point. So while moving from this point to this point, what is happening is that x is increasing and y is decreasing, right? And MRS is nothing but the slope of an indifference curve, right? So it is steeper here, it is flatter here. So if you move, when you move from point A to point B, the slope, it turns from being steeper to being flatter. That is MRS falls. In some cases, what might happen is that there is no change in X, but Y is decreasing. And if then also MRS falls, it is diminishing MRS. Or in some cases, it might happen that uh, uh, Y is constant, but X is increasing. And with that, if MRS is falling, then MRS is falling. Right, so there are three cases which you need to check. Either X increases, Y decreases, this is what is meant by then MRS falls, then yes, it is MRS is diminishing. Or X is constant, Y is decreasing, and then also if MRS is falling, we will say, yes, it is a diminishing MRS. You can use a tangency rule. You can just use MRS equals to price ratio to find out the equilibrium. Or if X is increasing, Y is constant, then also if MRS is falling, then it is the, it is the case of diminishing MRS, right? Now just think about it. Let me just find out the MRS for this utility function, which is given to us. This is del u by del x upon del u by del y. Del u by del x is what? 2x. Del u by del y is what? 12. So it is what? x upon 6. There is no y. So you have y constant case. Now check, is X increasing, Y constant, MRS is falling out here? No. So when X increases here, MRS is increasing. So it is not the case of ICs being convex. So ICs are indifference curve is not convex. So you cannot apply this case beta. Just think about it. X is increasing, Y is constant, MRS is increasing, not decreasing. It is not the diminishing MRS case. So IC is not complex. IC is not complex, right? So ICs are concave here. This is actually the case of increasing cosilinear. Uh, this is the case of
increasing cosilinear function. Hmm? Increasing cosilinear. That is u is equal to x square plus y. We have generally seen the kind of decreasing cosilinear. You don't have to write this in the answer. I'm just telling you. The kind of the question which we have seen is this root of x plus y. Now for you don't have to write this in the answer. I'm just telling you this. So MRS is what? Del U by del X upon del U by del Y. So del U by del X is what? One upon two root X upon del U by del Y is what? One. So uh, Y is constant. And if X is going to increase, Y is constant, X is going to increase, MRS is going to fall, right? Third case applied. So here in this case, you have the diminishing MRS. For this case, not for this case. MRS is not diminishing. So if these are concave utility functions, sorry, if these are concave indifference curves, then uh, you know that the answer is going to lie uh, at the optimal. Optimal lies at the corner. Optimal lies at the corner. So either you will consume all of X or you will consume all of Y. Right? Either you will consume all of X or you will consume all of Y. So case one. All of X. u x 0. So that would be what? Uh, that would be like this. Your, your utility function is what? x square plus 12 uh, into 0. Right? This is going to be like this. Okay. So it is basically x square. So when you have all of x, then uh, what happens to your budget? What was the budget? P1x plus P2y equals to n. The kind of the budget which is given to you is 12x plus 24y equals to n. But you are not consuming y. So it is 12x plus 24 into 0 equals to m. So x is m by 12. So if you substitute it here, it comes out to be m square upon 144. m square upon 144. This is the first case. All of x. Case 2. You can consume all of y. So all of y would mean 0 comma y. So it is 0 plus 12 y. This is just 12 y. Hmm. Your budget line is what? 12 x plus 24 y equals to m. But you are not using anything of x. You're using y only. So y is going to be what? m upon 24, right? So 12 m upon 24, which is m upon 2, right? Which is m upon 2. Uh, well, you can have a case out here. If, if this utility so consumer is, when is consumer going to consume only X? 
when the utility which he derives from consuming all of x is more than the utility which he derives from consuming all of y. Consumer consumes all of x when u x zero is greater than u zero y. That means m square upon one forty four is greater than m upon two. Sorry, m upon two. Right. So one m will get cancelled out. This is what seventy two. So when m upon seventy two is greater than one, or when m is greater than seventy two. So the point is that consumer is going to consume all of x when his income is greater than seventy two. Well. Consumer consumes all of y when the utility which he derives from consuming all of y is more than the utility which he derives from consuming all of x. U x zero is less than u zero y. Is less than u zero y. So that would mean m square upon one forty four is less than m upon two. When m upon seventy two is less than one, or m is less than seventy two, right? So this is what is expected in this question, which they have asked, right? So. This was what is expected in this question. Hmm. Right, Vita. Thank you, Vita.